Hey everyone, this is the uh, 6.9 video, which is graphing quadratic inequalities. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one, uh, you're gonna try one on your own then, and that's where we're gonna leave it off. Pretty, It's a pretty straight uh, forward lesson. We've already graphed a lot uh, in this unit, so there's really not a lot different to this stuff here, and you'll see when we dive into some. So there's your I can statement. All right. Let's go ahead and try one. All right. So, like I said, we've we've done a lot of these before, and, and we're getting pretty, you know, pretty good at graphing them at this point. Uh, but again, first thing you need to do is you need to find the vertex. All right. So again, you're going to find the, I'll just put a big V here for vertex. You're going to use negative B over two A to do that. And so in this case, it would be what negative three over two times uh, negative one, which ends up equaling one and a half. Okay. So you found your x value of the vertex. So go ahead and make a table. All right. And I'll put a 1.5 right there. We're going to then substitute that back in for X. Don't worry about the inequality sign at this point. Just substitute it back in. Try to figure out um, um, what it's going to, what Y is going to be when you, when you substitute that in. In this case, uh, I already did that. So it's 1.25. So let's go ahead and start to graph that. So 1.5, 1.25 would be about right there. All right. And then what we want to do is we want to pick points on either side of um, that axis of symmetry again, if we drew that dotted line right down. Uh, and again, I think the numbers I would go with would be one and two. All right. And one would be easier to substitute in than two. So uh, let's go ahead and, and do that. And, and I already did that. So I ended up with a one right there. So let's just graph it. And one, one and two, one would be right there. All right. Looking pretty good. And I might do one more here. So let's go zero and uh, zero and three. And if we plug a zero in, it looks like we get a negative one. And so that's what it's going to be. So zero, negative one. And what's the other one? Three, negative one. So it looks like this. Let's connect them. Actually, I'm not going to connect them yet. All right. Now, you guys probably remember when we've done inequalities and we graph them on like a number line, we used open and closed circles. And you guys probably remember that. And then when we graphed linear inequalities, we used dotted lines and we use solid lines. And we talked about, um, you know, when there is a less than or greater than sign that that the number on, you know, on that point or on that line is not in a part of our answer. And we have to do that with this as well. So when you see an inequality sign that looks like, you know, one of these two, so it's a greater than or less than, you know, we need to do a dotted line just like an open circle. And if we have a line underneath the inequalities, so it's greater than and less than, greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, we know we would use a solid line, all right, or a solid parabola. Um, and that just indicates that the, the solution it can be on the line or can be on the parabola or can't be on the parabola. So in this case, we're going to use a dotted line. So I'm just going to do the best I can to graph that. All right, so I'm using a nice dotted line right there. And that looks pretty good. And then we do need to shade. If you remember when we did um, linear inequalities, we shaded one side of the line or the other. We are going to do the same thing with this one right here. We're either going to shade inside the parabola um, or on the outside of the parabola. I still think um, one of the best things to do for this is to pick an easy value, substitute it in to see if it's a true statement or not. All right. So I'm just going to pick this Point, I'm going to put a little box around the origin. If I can pick the origin, that will be really good. So if the origin, if we substitute it in and it works in the inequality, we know it's a solution. All right. If it doesn't, then we know it's not a solution. And that will help us shade. So let's put a zero and a zero in here. Now, I love using zero because if I put a zero in for y, I'm just going to write it up here, y would be zero. And we'd get this inequality, zero squared, that'd be zero, three times zero would be zero. So we'd just be left with this statement right there. And we ask ourselves, is that a true statement? Is that a true mathematical statement? Is zero less than negative one? In this case, it's not. So we know that the origin is not an answer. That means every ordered pair out there by the origin is not an answer. So when we shade, we're going to shade on the inside of the, this parabola right there. Those are going to be all of our solutions. What that means is any point we pick, we could pick any point, all right, inside of that parabola, it would work in this inequality. We could substitute it in and then it would work, all right? Um, and that's that's it. So you know how to graph the parabolas. So what's different in this one? You need to use a dot, dotted or a solid line, and then you need to shade either above or below the parabola. And again, that just tells us all the answers. Um, 
tell you the truth, it's nothing we haven't done before. We've done dotted solid lines. We've shaded. Um, we've graphed parabolas. So I'm feeling like you guys will do pretty, pretty well with this lesson. Uh, I do want to show you in Desmos real quick. So let me just get out of here. Um, discard that. I want to show you in Desmos. I've already uh, typed it in, but let's just go in here. So in Desmos here, um, I've already put in that equation right there. And you can see that you could use Desmos uh, for your, you know, to help you guys out as well. Uh, but as I substituted in from Desmos, you can see that we have our, you know, our point right there. There's your vertex. We calculated that. It actually gives you the roots. We didn't calculate the roots, but you can see kind of what they are right there. We did calculate that number right there, though. Uh, we did calculate this number as well. Uh, but notice how it's got a dotted line, and it's where we shade it, so it looks pretty good. All right. Uh, this is the next one we're going to try. You can see it over here. Uh, before I actually click on it, though, I want you guys to try it. Let me go back into my slides real quick here. Uh, so we'll get back into the slides, and you guys are going to do, you guys are going to do this one right here. All right, so there's your equation. What I want you to do is I want you to, um, or your inequality, I should say. I want you to pause it. I want to see if you guys can graph it. All right, so go ahead, try it. All right, find the vertex. Find values on either side of the vertex. Make a nice, you know, is it dotted, is it solid? Where do we shade the line? All right, so I'm going to let you guys do this. Pause your video. Do it. When you come back, I'll show you in Desmos what it looks like. All right, welcome back. I hope you guys got your graph and, and hopefully you know what it looks like. Uh, let's get into Desmos and see what our actual answer looks like here. So I'm just going to undo this one right here. And this is the equation you guys just worked on. And so this is what our graph should look like. All right, so let's just figure out some numbers here. Uh, oops. Looks like our vertex, uh, it's a little hard to see, but it looks like it's um, negative a third and negative a third. Hopefully that's what you calculated. It looks like one of our roots is there, the other root is there. So the roots were zero, um, zero and negative, uh, negative two thirds. And hopefully your graph looks like that. Notice how it's a solid line or a solid, I shouldn't say line, I should say parabola. It's a solid parabola and everything in this one is shaded on the inside. That doesn't always happen. It happened with the two examples we did there. It could have been shaded. You know, there can be some answers that will be shaded on the outside. So that's what uh, 6.9 is all about. Um, good luck. I hope this makes sense. If not, you know, reach out to me. I would love to help you some more and, and try to figure out, you know, where you're struggling. But thanks for watching.